Oh, English too. I hope you can hear me. I'm at Starbucks with music. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about writing thesis statements because that's what we're going to start practicing next. And they're pretty similar to what we started doing with our theme statements. Um, but now we're just going to take them one step further because we can write thesis statements um, to prepare us like for a whole essay, not just a paragraph, which is what we've done so far. Okay, so you're going to have access to this um, slideshow um, in addition, obviously, to the video. So um, click along as you like and like just keep referring back to it if you need. Um, so your job when you're writing a thesis statement is to provide a statement um, that is put forward, you know, um, as something that needs to be maintained or proved. Uh, throughout the course of your writing. So I like to think of it. Um, I'm actually going to do a little text box real quick right here. So whoop, maybe it's going to work. Does that work? Oh, there it goes. So I like to think of it as purpose plus preview. Let me make that bigger too. So you can see what I mean. So with purpose plus preview, your thesis statement, the job is that you are stating your purpose for your paper and you're kind of previewing what you're going to talk about um, in like the coming paragraphs. Okay. Um, when you have that statement, um, usually we're going to write it in a little bit more of a um, formal way, right? It's not like an I think, I feel statement, right? So I'm not going to say I think that pink is the best color, right? I'm going to take out, I think, and I'm just going to flat out say that pink is the best color. And then I'm going to spend the rest of my paper arguing why it's the best and why you should believe me, right? Um, so with thesis statements, your job as the writer of the thesis statement is that you tell your reader like how they're going to interpret um, the information that you're getting ready to tell them and like why it's important. Secondly, I like to think of our thesis statements as a roadmap to our essay. And that's what I mean when I say purpose plus preview. So you state your purpose, but then you also preview what you're getting ready to talk about. And I think of it as a roadmap because it's like, if you think of your starting position, you know, um, at your intro, and then you still kind of like uh, drive or like weave all the way through your paper and you keep going back to that idea of your thesis statement. So if my thesis statement is that pink is the best color, then I'm going to keep going back to that idea um, throughout my entire uh, paper and then wrap it up in my um, conclusion as well. So whatever the prompt is, your thesis statement directly answers that question. It directly answers that prompt in front of you. Okay, So you guys all kind of started doing that when I was asking you to do theme statements. Um, you know, a theme to a fast car or 11 or um, what was the other one? The interlopers. And so now like you did what was directly asked of you. And so you could kind of take those theme statements and we could turn them into thesis statements um, if we were going to expand those thoughts and write an entire essay over those stories or fast part the song. Okay. So your thesis statement is two things. One, usually one sentence. It's going to be a long sentence, but it's one sentence. And it's always the very last sentence to your paragraph, to your intro paragraph. Okay. Um, so we are going to be working on some like uh, thesis stems, right? So like how to get started, how to keep going with it. Um, in order to make sure that you understand that, you know, you have to take a position and, like, develop a claim over it. And sometimes they're going to be, like, silly arguments, right? Like, pink is the best color or whatever. Um, and then we'll get into, or, like, the best Thanksgiving food, you know. Um, but then we'll get into, like, the more exciting and, um, like, real topics that people like to debate about. Um, and then in your thesis statement, you're going to take a stance on that. And then you're going to argue um, what, like, what you think is the best a way to believe, and then you're going to support that argument with um, reputable data. Okay, um, so again, you have access to this. We're going to work on these thesis statements probably. I mean, I want to do it for at least a week just to make sure that we're really understanding it. And then this last year is kind of like a thesis statement checklist that I'll want you to, um, you know, keep with you and ask yourself these questions um, as we're building um, the thesis statement. Do I answer the question? Um, have I taken a particular position? Like we have to pick a side, basically. Um, is my thesis statement specific? Does it pass the so what test, right? So that, we ask ourselves that a lot because we want to make sure that we are 
um, discussing the importance of what you're writing, right? So, like, if I say pink is the best color, and then you look at me and you say, so what? Like, why does that matter? Why is it important? Um, we need to make sure that we're clarifying or we're showing on that connection to the larger issue and why it's important, okay? Um, you want to make sure that your essay and your thesis statement match, okay? We don't want to, like, wander off and talk about something else. Like, if I'm saying that pink is my favorite color, um, and then I go off on this tangent about grandma's pink nail polish, and then I talk about grandma for a paragraph, that is um, wandering and going too far off topic, right? And then your last question is you want to make sure that your um, thesis statement is answering the question how and why, okay? Um, but, like, they need to be able to – like, your thesis statement needs to be able to answer those questions because if they're not answered, then we're leaving the, then we're leaving the reader, like, too open-ended, right? And we want to be able to answer those questions for the reader. Okay, that was a really quick overview of um, thesis statements, but we're going to get lots of practice on them, and I will be giving you feedback on it. So shoot me a message with whatever questions you have. Thanks, guys. Bye.